this for an example. We have all audited the consolidated balance sheet of company. So whenever I say company, that's going to be the company that we are auditing as of the date. That's going to be the date of the audit and the related consolidated statements of operations, stockholders, equity, and cash flows for each of the three years in the period ended at this date and the related notes. So note that we could do an audit in this case, we're saying for the three year time period. So we obviously we're going to be stating that we performed an audit. We have the company that we're going to audit. We're auditing the balance sheet and then we have the related uh, kind of flow type of areas. Note what's happening here with the balance sheet. That's as of a point in time. The other statements that we have are all going to be time frames, things that have a beginning and an end. So that's why it's basically formatted in this way. We have the balance sheet of the company and the related consolidated statement of operations, stockholders, equity, and cash flows for each of the three years in the period ended at this date and related notes collectively referred to as the financial statements. So obviously when we think about just the financial statements, it's gonna be comprising of these items with regards to the audit report. In our opinion, the financial statements present fairly in all material respects. Notice the qualifying language here. Our goal is to give an opinion, but then we have the qualifying language in all material respects. The financial position of the company as of the date and results of its operations and its cash flows for each of the three years in the period ended, and then we have the date, in conformity with US generally accepted accounting principles. So this audit, of course, we're assuming are in with regard to US GAAP generally accepted accounting principles. We also have audited in accordance with the standards of the PCAOB, company's internal controls over financial reporting as of the date based on the critical uh, uh, criteria established in internal control integrated framework issued in 2013 by the Committee of Sponsoring Organizations of the Tradeway Commission, COSO, COSO or report on the company's internal control over financial reporting uh, date expresses an unqualified opinion so an unqualified opinion meaning we don't have any qualifications to the basic opinion stated up here that the financial statements are presented fairly in all material respects next we have the basis for the opinion the basis for the opinion these financial statements are the responsibility of companies management our responsibility is to express an opinion on the company's financial statements based on our audit we are a public accounting firm registered by the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board, United States PCAOB, and are required to be independent with respect to the company in accordance with the U.S. federal securities laws and the applicable rules and regulations of the Securities and Exchange Commission and the PCAOB. We conducted our audit in accordance with the standards of the PCAOB, those standards require that we plan and perform the audit to obtain reasonable assurance. Again, note the qualifying language, reasonable assurance about whether the financial statements are free of material misstatement. Again, material misstatement, whether due to error or fraud. Also note that we're not basically looking specifically for fraud. We're looking for those things that, that uh, might take the financial statements away from being reported materially correctly, whether being error or fraud. Our audit includes performing procedures to assess the risks of material misstatement of the financial statements, whether due to error or fraud, and perform procedures that respond to those risks. Such procedures include examining on a test basis evidence regarding the amounts and disclosures in the financial statements. Our audits also included evaluating the accounting principles used and significant estimates made by managements as well as evaluating the overall presentation of the financial statements. We believe that our audits provide a reasonable assurance for our opinion. And then we have a, an example of a, a critical matters section. So this is an example of a critical matters section. The critical audit matter communicated below is a matter arising from the current uh, period audit of the financial statements that was communicated or required to be communicated to the audit committee and that one relates to accounts or disclosures that are material to the financial statements and two involved especially challenging subjective or complex audit judgments the communication of criteria audit matters does not alter in any way our opinion of the financial statements so notice we're saying hey here's a, here's a uh, critical matter we're going to bring to the attention here it doesn't uh, alter our opinion in other words we still have an unqualified report 
that is being reported, although we're uh, stating this critical matter here. So we didn't qualify basically the opinion uh, on the report given this matter. We're just basically uh, referencing this matter here. Taken as a whole, and we are not, by communicating the, the critical audit matter below, providing separate opinions on the critical audit matter or on the accounts or disclosures to which it relates.